good day. Our project is entitled Determination of Appropriate Expansion Process of Perlite to Conform to Standards of Lightweight Aggregates for Use in Construction. I am Rosa Baluis Karam, the project leader and an assistant professor at the Institute of Civil Engineering in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. The Philippine construction industry has been expanding steadily since 2015 with an average annual growth rate of about 10.9%, mostly due to the Build, Build, Build program. However, since the construction industry is among the most energy-intensive, resource-depleting, and emission-releasing sectors in the world, the need for more sustainable construction practices and materials persists. Roadmaps for sustainable development of the industry until 2050 aim for substantial reduction in emissions to the environment, reduction in use of natural materials and non-renewable energy sources, and reduction in waste volume. Being one of the most used construction materials, concrete is heavily dependent on the extraction and production of its raw materials, namely cement, sand, and gravel which makes it a prime material for replacement studies with more sustainable materials. So in keeping with the sustainable development goals, especially goals 9, 11, and 12, the industry could look into the use of alternatives that are locally sourced and lightweight that could also possibly reduce the overall amount of materials needed per structure. So unlike our normal virgin aggregates, lightweight aggregates contain a larger volume of voids. This increases the thermal insulating efficiency of the lightweight mortar compared to that of normal mortar. Lightweight aggregates also reduce the density of mortar, which could then reduce the dead load of the structure, which could then lead to smaller structural members. However, despite all the potentially good effects of lightweight aggregates, it has also shown to greatly reduce the strength of mortar or the concrete mix. This in turn affects the strength and the durability of the structure as it depends on the masonry mortar for tensile bending strength and the compressive strength. Though lightweight masonry materials have superior properties compared to normal masonry materials, their low mechanical properties make them suitable for use only in non-load bearing members. Which brings us to our material. Perlite is an inorganic expanded aluminosilicate of volcanic origin. Its expanded form has been used in different countries in Europe and the Americas as a lightweight fine aggregate replacement. This is because the expanded form of perlite has a low bulk density, sitting at around 400 kg per cubic meter, compared to that of regular sand which is about 1,500 to 1,600 kg per cubic meter. Now, current estimates of annual world production of perlite is at 4.1 million metric tons, led by China, Greece, Turkey, and the United States, with about 47, 20%, 16%, and 13%, respectively. While the Philippine production is currently at 100,000 metric tons per year, with an estimated local reserve of 200 million metric tons. However, the current expanded perlite produced in the Philippines does not conform with the gradation standards for lightweight aggregates and is yet to be studied as a lightweight aggregate. With this study, an appropriate expansion procedure will be determined to ensure conformity of the expanded perlite to lightweight aggregate standards, and the resulting expanded perlite will be tested as a fine aggregate replacement in mortar types M, N, O, and S. As mentioned earlier, it is expected the resulting mixes will be used for the construction of non-structural members only. With this project, we hope to increase perlite production rates, which would then lead to more jobs for the local mining sector and give a boost to the local economy around the mines. And due to the lower bulk density in the resulting mixes, we expect a reduction in the size of structural members, which may lead to lower construction costs. Lastly, if used in designing houses, this could make housing more available to more Filipinos. We would like to thank our partners, DOST Pichard for funding our research and of course OSI for their support and funding as well. This is our project team.
Thank you very much for listening.